На земле большой волею судьбы Суждено ли нам с любовью встретиться На земле большой, где там бродишь ты А она так быстро, быстро вертится На земле большой у меня есть ты Так зачем она так быстро вертится? General's daughter. Part one. Hi, Dad. You can congratulate me. I finally made up my mind. Hey, girls. Listen, hey. where can I find Irina Kolchina? She's at the operating room. How come she's there? For your information, Professor Fedorov himself asked her to assist him. Exactly. Irina is a star now. <gasps> Everyone's going to be so jealous of oh, her. Oh, I don't know how Olga's going to handle the news. <gasps> she really wanted to be the assistant. Mm. I know, right? Rachmanov has been an excellent student for years, but <laughs> Professor Fedorov still chose Irina. Do you know why? Why? Because she's the greatest. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Who would argue with that? We wouldn't. No. A good assistant is half the success. It was a pleasure working with you. Thank you, Dr. Fedorov. Why thank me? Don't, don't be modest. You're a clever specialist with skilled hands. I think you have great prospects ahead of you. You can even become a good surgeon if you don't get too proud. <laughs> no, I'm sure I won't. Very well. Let's go to the staff room. You'll try to write a prescription by yourself and I will check it later. Who's coming? Oh, hey. Beautiful flowers. No, Olga, okay, I'm sorry. I'm chance? waiting for Irina Kolchina. <laughs> Where is she, by the way? Um, she was actually at surgery. I saw how Fedorov took her to the OR, uh, but they've been in there for quite a while. Mm, well, maybe they're discussing the results of the surgery. Ah, what a man of principle. Not a single bad thought. What are you talking about? Mm, do you really not know that he's a womanizer? Do you know that from experience or gossip? I'm your friend. That's why I'm telling you the truth. Anyway, I have to okay, go. Okay, bye. That's all for today, Irina. Goodbye, Dr. Fedorov. Get home. Have some rest. <laughs> Hey. Hey. <laughs> mm, I'm so glad that you're here. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that you're Fedorov's assistant now? I wanted it to be a surprise. Really? Didn't want to speak too soon. I see. Mm. Can you imagine? <laughs> Dr. Fedorov suggested that I perform surgeries myself. Really? Did he suggest mm. anything else? Pavel, dear, aren't you happy? I am. This is a great chance. Who are these beautiful flowers for? They're for you, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Pavel. Can you imagine? I'll be working with Fedorov. Irina, please. <laughs> Who else would he choose if not for you? But you know you will remember this day for the rest of your life. I know, Pavel. I'm... I'm over the moon. <laughs> I didn't mean this. <laughs> then what? You'll see in a moment. <laughs> so... Miss Irina Kolchina, will you become my wife? <laughs> right now? Right now. If you say yes, we can file an application today. Got your passport? Um, yes, but... No, no but. The most important thing is that you said yes. <laughs> we are going to solve all your buts together later. Agreed? <laughs> yes, Mom? Pavel. It's already three o'clock. Mom, listen. I had some work to do at the hospital. No, nothing serious. 
I hope it was nothing important. Have lunch without me. Don't wait for me. I won't have lunch without you. Well, all right. I'll come by later. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You see, my mom is very peculiar. One shouldn't just start a direct conversation with her. Yeah, you see, I can't <laughs> tell her about our marriage over the phone. That'll be just difficult for her. But you can't propose to me so spontaneously, without any warning. If I'd known, I would put on something more appropriate. Irina, there can be no comparison. You are young, but my mother is in her golden age years. She gets anxious about everything. Come on, go ahead. Hurry up, hurry up, everyone. My baby, what's going on? Are you hungry? Be patient. Your mommy will be here soon. Take it easy. Take it easy. Where is your food? Where is your food? Ah, here it is. That absent-minded Dasha forgot to buy your food. Hello? Sonia? Are you busy right now? Not really. Listen, could you do me a favor? Could you go to the corner store and buy me um, some food for Steve? Yes, I let Dasha go and Pavel is running late. But my kitty is hungry now. Of course, no worries, Mrs. Mission. I'll do it. Well, let's go somewhere in the evening to celebrate this event. Pavel, I think it's time that you introduce me to your mother. It's such an important day. We filed for marriage. You see, my mother is ill. She suffers from high blood pressure. Mm. Any unexpected news can make things worse. Mm. Give me time to prepare her for the news. You care so much about your mother and her anxiety. Everything is going to be okay. I promise. Here you go. Okay. Mm. Bye. My kitty, my love, I'll feed you right now, my handsome boy. Have a seat. Rest a bit. Let's have a chat. You know, Sonia, I've been feeling very anxious these last few days. Pavel is always late. I don't know. I feel like he's hiding something from me. <laughs> Our children are grown-ups now. They won't tell us everything they do. But it's not good that they don't tell us everything. It's time for him to get married, I think. Sonia, I think our children should marry each other. Your daughter is an easygoing girl. She's exactly the type of daughter-in-law I need. Uh, oh, it's all it. Thank you for your kind words. My Olga has liked your son since childhood. The thing is that he's had other girlfriends. Mm. And to him, my Olga is just another friend. They've known each other since childhood, and he doesn't even notice her. Olga should be a little more clever, and she should definitely be more charming. That's exactly what I think. It would be such an honor for us, Isolde. What an honor. Very well. Go now. I need to get some rest. I'll think about what I can do. When Olga returns, tell her to please visit me. Uh-huh. Okay? Okay. Well, go now. Go. The marriage is in a month. <gasps> I'm so happy. Oh, cool. <laughs> you'll finish your residency, obtain your certificate, and you'll get married. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> Arena, you are so lucky you found such a guy. I can't believe it. Yeah, Galina, you're right. You and I will stay in the middle of nowhere prescribing enemas to the elderly. <laughs> You can become a great doctor if you work in the province. You'll get so much experience. Mm, they say a country doctor is much more experienced than a professor. Mm -hmm. Easy for mm. you to say you see in the capital. Uh, Galina, stop it. Tell us something. Are you inviting us to the wedding? Exactly. Of course. What would I do without you? <laughs> mm. Thank you, guys. I was starving. Mm. Mm. Galina, lend me your mobile. Mm. I ran out of money and I have to call my mom. Let's ask the concierge. She doesn't allow intercity calls. I'll distract you. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Thanks. <sighs> How come some people get everything in life 
and others get nothing. <sighs> I wish I had a body like Irina's. All men would be in love with me. Well, there's nothing to do. Um. Hello, Mom. May I? Oh, <sighs> look who's come. Hey, haven't seen mm -hmm. you in a while. Just came out for a second and I found her like this. What, blood pressure again? Yes, high pressure again. It's been such a rough day. Steve didn't have anything to eat, and he was crying and crying. My heart almost stopped. I spilled my coffee, one thing on top of another. <laughs> Thank you, mm. Olga. She came by, she helped me lie down, measured mm. my blood pressure. Yeah, we are lucky to have such neighbors. <laughs> well, thanks, Olga. I'll take it from here. If you need anything, give me a call. Oh, goodbye, goodbye Olga. Mom, really, you shouldn't get so worried about your cat. Mm. Steve, if you disappoint Mom again, you'll live in the streets, got it? You can't drink coffee. It's bad for you. I know. Go have something to eat. I've made lunch. Hi, excuse me. Please come up to our room. It's really urgent. Everyone suddenly needs to see me, and it's all very urgent. <sighs> what is happening, dear? I'll show you. It's really urgent. Mrs. Vasleva, please, have a seat. Please, come in. We need your advice. Here's a piece of cake for you. My mom made it. I'll make tea mm, now. Thank you. Mrs. Vasleva, so here's what's happening. What happened? Can you imagine? Irina Kolchina's getting <gasps> married. The wedding mm -hmm. is in a month. And she's getting married to Pavel Mission. Professor Mission's son? Really? Exactly. She's so lucky. Klava, don't be jealous. A little bit. Uh, can you help us? We don't know what to give her for her wedding present. Yeah, we can't think of anything. Please, have some cake. And what if you give her? A china set? <gasps> Money. Mm. The wedding is in a month. Um, why won't you come? What happened to him? Mm. Okay, I'll come and have a look. Give him my regards. With Pavel, of course. Okay, Mom, I can't talk now. I love you. So how do you find it? Delicious? Oh, oh here's, here's the bride. bride. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. They say you will be the general's daughter-in-law. Oh, no, why? Pavel's father is the surgeon. Oh, you're such a fool. Such an innocent and naive fool. <gasps> He was a general of the medical services. So be happy and pray to God your future mother-in-law won't be a bitch. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Girls, I think it's time for me to go. Yeah. No, not at all. <sighs> See you later. Congratulations. <laughs> so, I did it. Well done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why didn't you finish the soup? Not tasty. I don't like when Dasha cooks. When you get married, then you can complain all you want to about your wife. But don't complain about Dasha's cooking. Yeah, Mom, uh, I wanted to tell you that we... that No, we... I understand it all. It's all about time. Olga will be a good wife to you. She's hard-working. Pour my tea. She is responsible. Well, she isn't really beautiful, but it's difficult to spoil our bloodline. Mom, how many times have I told you don't try to marry me off? All right, all right, calm down. I wanted to talk to you about something else. Today I called Dad's old friends and they agreed to help you find a much, much better job. What job? What about my PhD? Science today is not lucrative at all. On Tuesday, in the morning, you will go to the city's health committee and find Mr. Ivanov. They really need a young, promising epidemiologist. You're going to be working in the position of the Senior Sanitary Office of Russia. Mm hmm Yeah. To spend my whole life in dumpsters, looking for flu viruses, go to shops, and look for cockroaches. Why not? There have been great medical experts from all over the world, even among sanitary experts Pasteur, Mechnikov, Gamaleya. Oh, Mom, how do you know that? Did you forget that I, too, went to medical school? 
I didn't become a microbiologist only because I devoted my whole life to your father and to you, my dear Pavel. With the help of nurses and housemates. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Now Pavel's mother will certainly like me. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? To see Stas or Lev? No, Mom. Neither Stas nor Lev. I'm going on a date. An important one. With Olga? Mom, I've told you a hundred times, Olga and I are just friends. I'm having a date with Irina Kolchina. She's a doctor, and she and I are... Uh... My God. You didn't even mention her to me. What is her name again? Irina Kolchina. Future surgeon. And Professor Fedorov said she's the future of Russian surgical science. She assisted him today with How... an operation. How can you dare to say Fedorov's name in our home? He was your dad's... Worst enemy in the whole world. Mom, don't exaggerate. Fedorov was never Dad's enemy. Yes, they had some disagreements. A different vision on medical procedures, so what? I don't want to hear anything about this arena at all. Since she's Fedorov's student, not a single word about her. God, I'm, I'm unwell. Where are my pills? Where are my pills? Mom, you already took your pills today. You shouldn't take more. At the end of the day, Irina is a good girl. When you meet her, I'm sure you'll like her. Pavel, are you going to get married? I really like her. If you want, we can come over today and you'll see for yourself. No, not today. I've had enough stress today. Look at her. Federal student. I really, I wonder how that happened. Mom, you're being unfair. See you later. Hello? Sonia? Is Olga at home? No? Come over. Immediately. Yes. Okay. Sonia? Did Olga tell you that Pavel is having an affair with some girl? Oh, what's her name? I forgot. One moment. Irina Kolchina. Yes. Mm -hmm. She mentioned I something. See. Sonia, do you remember how I persuaded my late husband, God rest his soul, to get a state apartment for you in our house? Your daughter, Olga, with awful grades, was accepted into medical school thanks to me. How much good I have done for you? Do I not have the right to expect some kind of gratitude from you and your family? But I am very grateful, and all guys, too. But you and I had an agreement for our children to get married. Do you have no memory of this? If I had known that he was dating some girl named Irina Kolchina, I would have been able to stop this affair. It's all this just, I thought, it was his private business. I didn't want you to get offended or Pavel to find out. You thought? You shouldn't have thought. You should have come to me and told me everything. Pavel doesn't need a wife who's a surgeon. Besides, since he is some parvenu, you should be licking my boots after I chose your Olga as the wife for my incredible, handsome, and successful son. <sighs> they are right. Stupid people are like cripples, totally useless. It's all please forgive me. I'm a fool. It's all my fault. Just calm down. You shouldn't get this anxious. Everything will be all right. You know, Pavel, he's, he's a man of temperament. He's amorous. He's, he's still young and he's fabulous. Don't judge him, please. Yes, you're right. Amorous. Olga, let me warm it up. Mm -mm. No, I don't have time. I have to do work to do in the laboratory, so I came by to eat something. 
And guess what? It's all the question me again. Mm -hmm. Pavel just told her about his new girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So she got really annoyed that you didn't tell her anything before. Why? Me? Can you imagine what would have happened if Pavel found out that I had told his mother? He would never forgive me. He thinks I'm his friend. Mom, why am I so blind and naive? Daughter, you should have told her everything before. Oh, no, I shouldn't have. She has done a lot for us. Besides, maybe... Maybe what? What, maybe? Honey, to be sold as daughter-in-law wouldn't be that easy. But you have to worship her all your life. Don't forget it. For a man like Pavel, I would have dealt with this all day. Are you happy now? I have to go. Bye. We expected that. As soon as I told my mom about you, she got high pressure, a fever. Obviously. Although she should be ready for that, after all. You're a grown-up man. Please understand. She has devoted all her time to me and Dad. Now, I am the meaning of her whole life. So? So, I can't promise you an easy life. <sighs> but, after all, you choose if I am suitable to be your husband or not. But, I love you. I want to be with you. This is my life. Of course, we'll live at a different place, but we'll have to visit her, if not every day, at least every other day. <laughs> I got it. Pavel, do you know how much I love you? I love you so much that I like your mother. Even right now, I want to go and meet her. Not now. Let's do it tomorrow. I can't do it tomorrow. Tomorrow I have to see my patients. And on Thursday, I have to help uh, Dr. Fedorov with his surgery. By the way, about Fedorov, his name is not allowed to be said in my home. I know about it. I remember the disagreements between them. I promise I won't annoy your mother. Yes. Uh, listen, um... Maybe, uh, uh... Maybe we should have rescheduled the marriage. You don't want to get married? No, I didn't change my mind. But since you have no time to meet even your future mother-in-law, maybe you won't have time to get married. <laughs> Oh, all right. Let's do this on Wednesday. After the conference, it will end at five o'clock and I will come to meet your mother. At six, is that all right? Well, okay. Come on, stop writing this, let's go. <laughs> all right. Mrs. Mission! Olga, why didn't you call me? Uh, it's I'm sorry. really bad I, manners, I, my dear. I, I just have bad news for you. What? So I couldn't tell you about that over the phone. Is Pavel okay? Everything's okay, it's just that he's getting married. And they have filed for marriage. He hasn't told you, has he? Kolchina, my classmate. She came from some village. Provincial, you know how provincial girls can find husbands. Provincial, so provincial and persistent. A workaholic. Professor Fedorov's favorite. We don't need that. Sh she'll become your daughter-in-law in a month. You're not making this up, are you? No, I just heard it with my own ears. They are planning to rent an apartment. Well, let them dream. You can go. Go, my dear. Uh, Thank you for uh, not forgetting about me. Yes, uh, yes. Forgive me, Mr. Mission. Is a cadet commission a relative of yours? Mm-hmm. I'm his son. Wow. Unbelievable. Why didn't you follow your father's footsteps? Your father was a gifted and successful surgeon. Well, you know, I am afraid of blood. I fainted at my first lecture on anatomy. Oh, I mm. see. There's no blood here. But instead, all sorts of germs, viruses, and plenty of dirt. This position, Mr. Mission, is not the most pleasant. It's about the identification and elimination of the causes of infectious and parasitic diseases. 
sanitary and epidemiological examinations. Then there will be a lot of business trips and a lot of control, 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 and again total control. Don't be shy. Eat. Help yourself. The tartlets are fresh. Doctor no, just made thank them. you. I'm not really hungry. Oh, come on. You're not hungry? You and I have known each other for decades. I can see right through you. Of course, you're not used to delicacies. Well, anyway, I have a problem, Sonia. Pavel has decided to get married, and not to Olga, unfortunately, but to some type of upstart. A provincial girl, Fedorov's protege. But this cannot happen. We need to think about the ways to destroy their Isolde, relationship. what can we do in this case? Pavel is a grown-up man. We need to accept his decision. Maybe the girl isn't bad at all. But if it doesn't work out, you can sell the apartment and move into different houses. Are you out of your mind, Sonia? What are you saying? You've always been a fool. So listen, I've decided everything. Olga must seduce Pavel. And she's going to need to get pregnant fast. And I'm serious. It's all the things cannot be controlled. Unfortunately, your Pavel doesn't like Olga. And the only thing we could get is ruin their lives if we force them. Oh, my side hurts. Oh, oh it's probably the weather. Mm. Delicious. I told you. <laughs> she wasn't hungry. Imagine that. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. It's a shame anyway. It's a shame you didn't become a surgeon. A complete dynasty will disappear. Why disappear? On the contrary, M Mission's dynasty will remain in surgery. My future wife is now an assistant to Professor Fedorov. He also thinks she's the future of Russian surgical science. When we get married, Irina <laughs> Mission will work for the dynasty. I see, I see. I can see the wit of your late father in you. You first in everything. Well, I wish you all the luck. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Yes, baby. Hey, yeah, listen, I'm free now. Hey, well, all right, we got a deal. See ya. <laughs> Clam? You should take... In one second, Professor. Uh, dry up? Just my luck went numb from standing. Camp. Instead, take. Please, Professor, wait. Another clamp. Dry up. What a job you found for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. This old wench was telling me for half an hour how interesting it is to dig up filth in trash cans. You don't understand anything, Pavel. Today, when you have so many foreign goods and counterfeit products out there, a sanitary officer has become a very important person. You have all the contacts that you need and a PhD. You will become a doctor of sciences, just like your father was. Yes, he would be so happy and proud about you, absolutely. So, when do you start work? The day after tomorrow. Uh-huh. By the way, about your marriage, when will you be inviting Irina to our home? Whenever you want. Well, bring her today, then. No, today she can. Mm -hmm. She has her first independent surgery with Professor Fedorov. Ah, she was really able to start working quite quickly. She must be quite talented then. Fedorov, you say? Hmm, isn't she his lover? Seriously? Why are you looking at me like that? Alexei Fedorov was always a womanizer. It's the second time she's assisted him. What does this have to do with it? She's his best student. So listen here. I want you to bring this best student tomorrow at 5 o'clock. We'll come at 6. She'll be at the conference until 5. My God, she's still a resident, but she is already so busy. 
How are you going to live with such a busy wife? Tell me that. I'll deal with it myself. I'll solve the problems, don't worry. No, son. No, my dear. It is me who will deal with it and solve the problems with her. Mom! I beg you, don't get involved. Pavel, what is it? I didn't contradict you. I didn't contradict you. But how dare you talk to me in such a tone? I think this is her influence, obviously. I just can't stand it. Mom, forgive me. Mom, please. May God forgive you. Tomorrow at six, I will be waiting for you and your Irina. Dr. Fedorov, please forgive my harshness. No need for apologies. It was my fault. I shouldn't have interfered with my recommendations. Irina, I have a gift for you. This scalpel was gifted to me by an outstanding surgeon, Nikolov Mosov. I was his intern in Kiev. So now, I'll give it to you. Take it. Colleague, accept it. You deserve it. Thank you so much, Dr. Fedorov. Congratulations. Congratulations to your amazingly performed operation. <laughs> now, my dear Irina, let's have some tea. I have some excellent British tea. Dr. Fedorov, forgive me, but I have to leave. All right. I want to see how my patient is doing. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course, Irina. Congratulations again. Thank you. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Eat, eat more. Well, what's wrong? These are just donuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Clava. Um. Hi. Hey there. Uh, hello. I'm going to the <sighs> shop. Will you come with me? Oh, no. I think I got uh, food poisoning. <clears throat> Are you okay? <coughs> oh, poor girl. Poor thing. <sighs> Baby, what did you eat? <sighs> Does it matter what she <sighs> ate? Come on, <sighs> call an ambulance. Oh, I don't need an ambulance. Girls, I'm pregnant. Listen, I'm so unwell. <sighs> Bring me some You're water. You're pregnant? Mm. From who? Pavel? Does it matter? Bring some water, mm. come on. Congratulations. Just don't worry, your wedding is in three weeks. Nobody will notice at your wedding. <laughs> You'll already be married by then. So please just stop worrying. Does Pavel know? He doesn't. I just learned that myself. Ah. <coughs> oh, gross. <sighs> Listen, this is not the right time. Exams and I need to get a job. Listen, you should be thinking about your marriage now. All your exams, you will pass them, so don't worry. Think of Pavel and how happy he's going to be. Oh, I don't even know. He's so scared of his mother. If he says I need an abortion. Drink. Oh, thank you. Drink. Oh. No one will listen to her. If she doesn't want to, it's fine. You will give birth and bring up the baby yourself. Fedorov will accept you with or without a child. How did the operation go? He let me operate by myself. <laughs> No way. You did the surgery? <laughs> Irina, you're so lucky. Mm. You got everything at once. Independent surgeries, wedding, a child. Mm. It's very difficult. You'll be mm. fine. Mm. There's no other way. <laughs> you're now the future <laughs> of the Russian sciences. Exactly. If you started it all, work until the end. <laughs> That's life, baby. <sighs> Who will argue? We won't. Mm -mm. Irina, finally, here you are. Let's go. Where? Where? Mom is waiting at six. 
Oh, I totally forgot. Let's we'll buy some, some on our way. Hello, Pavel. Nice to see you, Irina. Congratulations. <laughs> if you come with congratulations, my birthday is in July. Oh, come on. Why are you hiding it? The whole university knows that you performed this operation with Fedorov himself. Then he said, like, forgive me, Professor, but I'll take things from here. <laughs> and how do you know about that? Proven sources. Fina, a nurse at the operating room, she told me. You performed an operation yourself and then almost cursed at her, yes? It's a lie. Fedorov suggested I perform surgeries independently. Besides, I never cursed. Wow, did you perform your first independent surgery? How is the patient? Is he still alive? Leave anything inside? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's alive. Anyway, let's go. Bye. Bye. I can't believe it. <laughs> Irina, what's wrong? Uh, uh, wait a second, Pavel. I feel unwell. Are you unwell? Uh, let's let's have, a have a seat right here. Uh, Are you better? Uh, 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 Are you pregnant? Aren't you happy? Um, uh, well, uh, um, uh, I just won't, it's just unex, it's just unexpected. What do you think? I thought you wouldn't be happy, and then you would want me to get rid of the baby. Uh, no, I'm very happy. Mom will probably be happy, <laughs> probably. Please, let's not tell your mom about it. We'll tell her later. Yes, you're right. Let's not tell her. By the way, I also have news. I got a job. <sighs> okay. Pavel, is that you? Yes, Mom, it's us. Mom, please meet Arena. She's Arena. Arena Kolchina. Hello, Mrs. Mission. Hello, dear Irina. Is that really your name? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, uh, please allow your future mother-in-law to call you just Irina. Of course. Let me look mm. at you, Irina. After all, you are soon going to be a general's daughter-in-law. The wife of my son. Have you heard about the academic mission? Yes, she knows of him. Yesterday, Irina performed an independent surgery, and it was the first one in her life. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, Pavel, go put on the kettle. Of course. Irina and I need to talk like women. Please, please sit. Thank you. So you're a surgeon. It's not a job for women. It requires strength. Why did you choose the profession of a surgeon? I worked as a nurse for two years after school. I saw a lot, so I decided to become a doctor. What do your parents do? My mom is a school teacher. Father worked as a driver, but he died 12 years ago. I was in the seventh grade. So you lived on your scholarship then? Yes, but I received a good scholarship. I got good grades and mom helped me. <laughs> How can your mom help you if she's a teacher with a very tiny salary, I'm sure? Two years ago, my mom got married to a lawyer. But when I lived on campus, the girls helped each other. Can you cook? Yes, I do. Well, this is good. Pavel loves good and delicious food every day. Tea's ready. Pavel, can I have a glass of water? Cold. Are you unwell? One moment. Are you sick? No, I'm okay. It's just stuffy. Interesting. Here you go. Thank you. Maybe it's because you're hurrying with the wedding, or perhaps you are in a hurry because the due Stop, date Mom. is quickly approaching. Keep silent, loser. You're a quick thinker, Irina Kolchina. Even became pregnant. 
How much vigor? What energy? You think you got pregnant from a general son and you will get everything? To make it to the top with no effort at all? Do you even know who the father of this child is? Mom, Irina is my fiance. Why are you saying that? Do you think that it's okay that Irina spends all her time with this old womanizer Fedorov? Everyone knows that he worships her. I know that. Fedorov would never do anything for nothing. He must be getting something, that's for sure. Pavel, I'm sorry, I can't stay here yes, any longer. Let's Please. go. You let's shouldn't have go. started this, Mom. Right now. It was all in vain, all in vain. We will still get married, we'll rent an apartment, you can visit us if you want. And where do you think you're going to get the money for that? Don't worry, Mom, we'll find the money. Whatever you think, the missions always knew how to adapt to anything, and I won't be the exception. Anyways, you probably forgot. I am a sanitary officer, I have a good salary. That's why you found the shop for me, right? Son, you just can't leave and abandon me. Uh. Please, Pavel, let's go. We need to discuss the preparations for the wedding. Mom. Pavel, go put on the kettle. I'm sure it's gotten cold by now. Mom, I beg you. I won't bite you, Irina. I won't bite her. Trust me. So listen, Irina, you will be living here. But we wanted to rent an apartment. I'll repeat again. You will be living here together with me. And you will become a member of our family. That means that you have to take care of me, of Pavel, and also take care of this apartment. Of course you will be doing this under my guidance. You mentioned renting an apartment. I really hope you won't leave a sick woman to die in an empty apartment in solitude. Mom, why these bad thoughts? Come on, stop it. We just didn't want to inconvenience you. My family cannot inconvenience me in any way. So when are you going to be getting married? In two weeks. Well, let it happen then. Get married. The witnesses will be Pavel's friends, Stas and Lev. And your side? I also have two friends, my roommates. Will your mother and stepfather come too? No, my stepfather is sick. Mm-hmm, I see. We won't have a wedding feast in a restaurant then. We will have a modest lunch at home, and Dasha will make everything that we need. Mm. Well, I think it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. And thank you, Mrs. Mission. Thank God it all ended pretty well. Do you really think so? Mm -hmm. Pavel, I think... Handle your mother's temperament. I'm not sure. Please I'll stop. It's just that she loves me a lot. Mm -hmm. Do you remember we wanted to live alone in our own apartment? Mm -hmm. Silly, this isn't important. The important thing is that we are together. You, me, and our kid. Mm -hmm. Yes, Pavel spent a long time looking for a wife. But he found a provincial girl, an upstart with no family. She thinks she's so important. Did you give them your blessing? Of course, I had to do that because she's already pregnant. She has no shame. She's tried to turn Pavel against me. She wanted to rent an apartment. How did she even think something like that? Well, it's really nothing. I will show her where her place is. I'll fire the housemaid right away. At least I'll save money on this. Let her work as a babysitter, as a cook, as a housemaid. If she doesn't like it, she can leave at any time, and we won't miss her at all. She has no shame. Five years later. We're going to get dressed now. Have a bath. 
brush our teeth. Do you like brushing your teeth? Masha, why are you playing with him all the time? You're a big girl now, but you play with him like he's a toy. Here. Um, hello, Olga. Don't cry. We're coming now. Strong, my dear. You know that Sonia was like a sister to me. May God rest her soul. Olga, come to us at any time. Irina, coming? I'm coming. Olga, I'll send Masha to bed and get back to help you. Arms up. <laughs> Lie down. Get under the duvet. Come on. Yes, baby, yes. That's what I want most now, too. Agreed. Let's meet in 40 minutes. Uh, Irina, damn it! Where are my beige trousers? Find me an appropriate shirt. Pavel, you were going to work from home today. It's an urgent call. I need to check one cafe. They got a complaint. <sighs> Irina, uh. why is my robe in the basket with the dirty clothes? Tell me. Mrs. Mission, I forgot uh. to wash it. And did you forget to wash this as well? And this one? And this one too? When are we going to have order in our house? Why are you shouting again? What are you arguing about? Because your wife is absent-minded. She has absolutely no time to wash clothes at home, but obviously has time to go over and visit the neighbors. I am so tired of your constant arguments all day. Bye. Here. Pavel. Have a rest, Olga. I will do it, Olga. Let me. I wasn't expecting this. You're a kind person. It's easy to be kind when you have everything. I had some husband. Kids in nice shoes, a nice good apartment. You live a wonderful life. But I never, never get anything like that in my life. Even my mom is dead now. <laughs> Only you're mistaken to think that I'm very happy. I'm so humiliated. I can't take it anymore. I'm sorry for Masha. I would gladly leave this general's mansion. Pavel. Pavel, wake up. Mm. Wake up or you'll be late. Mm -hmm. Breakfast is on the table. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Masha, you're already dressed? Did you brush your teeth? I did, Mom. Good girl. We're gonna have breakfast now. Go to the kitchen with Dad. I'll be there now. Are you calling me at home because of this silly question? You're at risk of insubordination. I am still director of the apartment. I hope you never, ever forget that. Got it? 
Enough, I said. I'll be there soon. Good morning, Dad. Morning, Princess. Get at the table and eat. Where's Mom? She's getting dressed. Getting dressed? Today you are both very slow. I can't wait. I have to go to work. Oh, Daddy, you're always late. <sighs> you're starting to grumble just like your grandmother. Not at all. Masha, I have to hurry up. Then who's going to take me to school? Mom will take you. She has to go to work, and she's also late. <sighs> Irina, I can't wait for you. I have an urgent meeting. I'll see you in the evening. Bye. Masha, eat porridge and drink juice. But you haven't eaten anything. I'll have something in the hospital. Damn it. I'm in traffic. What can I do? Start the meeting without me. Crap! What is going on here? The lift hasn't been working for two days. There are buckets all around. When will there be order here? What are you doing? This is a complete mess. Mr. Mission, why do you get so worried? It's going to be okay. Mrs. Mission, I left breakfast for you on the table. Eat something, please. Irina, can you do me a favor, please? Buy 200 grams of cheese, door blue cheese, a box of chocolates, strawberries and chocolate, and a bag of English breakfast bread from St. Petersburg Bakery, okay? Fats, cheese, and chocolate aren't the best foods for you right now. At your age, they can cause high blood pressure. No manners at all. To remind me of my age like that. You've lived here for five years in our home, but you still haven't learned good manners. I've made oatmeal with dried fruits for you. And pancakes. <laughs> Are you now going to start telling me what to eat? <laughs> That's unbelievable. Don't touch Olga. Is she okay? Don't touch her. Don't touch her. Olga. Olga. Uh, Olga. Call an ambulance. I want to send you to Polianskas, to the head of the inspection committee. We have a documentary plant commission. You will have to inspect a restaurant and hotel complex called Rainbow. You are going to see what the managers have done so far to avoid mass poisoning and all the infection outbreaks too. We'll check it all. Everything according to the rules. The main thing is to make sure that the managers understand what they should do to remain in their positions. Thank you for your trust, Mr. Ivanov. Have a good day. Nina, I want to take Olga to the hospital. Please take Masha upstairs, okay? Don't worry, of course, no problem. I will you take go, her. Dear. Mm. I just saw her. Thank you. Please take her to Fedorov's clinic. I'm going to call the receptionist. I hope she's gonna be okay. Oh, help me, please. Hello? So this is Irina Mission. Get an operating room ready. I'm home. Yay, Daddy's back! Ooh, haha. <laughs> Masha, why are you home? Your wife just rushed off without giving any explanations. Okay, go back to your room and play there. She left the child, she left the sick mother-in-law, and the apartment is a mess. But you didn't pick up the phone. Oh, my dear kitty. Mm. I turned off my phone. I was at a meeting. Mom, do we have anything to eat? I have no idea what your faithful wife cooked for you. But she made porridge for me. How could she even dare? <sighs> I'm so tired and sick of it. Mom, I'm leaving for a business trip for a month. Where's my bag? Your wife should know that. <sighs> to hell with you all. Call her! She should come home and prepare your things for your trip. 
don't get mad. Here's your suitcase. <sighs> Dad, here, take your slippers. That way your feet will be warm. My dear, what would I do without you, Masha? Let's sit for a second. Oh, Steve, my darling baby boy. Mm, I love you. I just love you. you mm. Bye. Listen to your mother. In the meantime, your wife will drive me to the grave. That's for sure. Not this again. I have to go. When will my mom be back? <sighs> I have no idea. Pavel, I'm sorry. I can't talk right now. Irina. Are you completely out of your mind? This is very risky. But we will save her leg. <sighs> Dr. Fedorov, this is Olga. Don't you remember? We were both interns. What difference does it make? Don't waste my She's time! She's than me. Don't you understand? She has no husband or children. She lost her mother recently. Let's try to save her leg. <sighs> I'm not going to participate in this scheme. If you want, assume all the responsibility and do what you think is right. I can say only one thing. I didn't know anything, so do whatever you want. I don't care. Thank you. Can I get ready for the surgery? Get ready! Let a poor beggar spend the night here. <laughs> opportunist. You're an opportunist, Dr. Mission. You got me involved in your scheme. All right. We'll see how things go. If there are no complications, you may consider yourself very lucky. And your friend should be grateful to you. She's not my friend. She's just a neighbor. Dr. Fedorov, please understand, we can't leave a young woman disabled. Okay, show me what you've written. Hmm. Yeah, huh? Makes sense. Now I see. This motivated your absurd decision. Are you going home? Should I give you a ride? No, thank you. I want to visit Olga. Uh, Thank you. Take care. Goodbye. <sighs> I'm so sad that you're leaving. Promise me that you will call me every day. I promise. Amazing this place. It's beautiful. Yeah, I could be here for my life. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather have a holiday. I like the boss's idea better. Unfortunately, our CEO Arthur Karnovich is currently being treated in Israel. He will stay there for the rest of the month. Therefore, I will have to respond to all your questions myself. Mrs. Barmina. We are planning to check how the sanitary rules are being observed at your factory and the laws guaranteeing the rights of the customers. First of all, we are interested in how the work for sanitary anti-epidemic causes is organized. Moreover, we should conduct a documentary inspection of the whole factory. Well, here's the list of documents that you must provide us with to proceed, please. Check it out. Any information, Mr. Mission, will be provided to you. Moreover, I'm at your complete disposal. Well, gentlemen, let's proceed to check on the provinces. <clears throat> Pavel, why did you leave me without even telling me? I tried. But you didn't even want to talk to me. But now I cannot talk. Sorry. Mom, I don't want to 
want to go to school. You have to, baby. Will you pick me up? Of course I will pick you up. Irina, don't you think that our refrigerator is empty? Where are the yogurts? Where are the juices? <sighs> there's cheese, there's fruit, healthy food. Are you going to start teaching me what's healthy and what's not? Who do you think you are? The general's daughter-in-law, as you like to say. But you don't like being a general's daughter-in-law. Then you went and married a driver. Besides, you aren't really welcome here anymore. You can get your things, pack them, and leave. It's not up to you to decide. I will only leave this house with your son that I love. Well, we'll just see about that. Whether he will want to leave his native home. <laughs> with a wife like that. Mrs. Mission, I am sorry. How are you feeling? Just awful. I called an ambulance. But why? Let me give you your injection. Never. Just go. Open the door. The ambulance is here. Hi. Please come here. Where is she? Straight ahead. Thank you. A problematic woman and your mom. She's my mother-in-law. Ah. Uh, well, we didn't notice anything weird. We took her pressure, 135 above 85, and that's ideal for her age. Her pulse is fast, but nothing serious. She's fine. Thank you so much. In my experience... I think her mother-in-law is solving the problems in this way. Mm. And she convinced herself that she's sick. It is really important that she doesn't take more medicine, because she doesn't really need it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good one.
That woman's a gold digger. She is, but I would agree to become a boss only because he gets the most beautiful woman all around the world. You would agree? Mm, Who offered you this position? Really? Why do I get to work all the month while he's the only having fun? Look, what did you say when you got here? I dreamt of working here all my life. But Pavel dreamt about holidays. So you should know what to dream about. Uh. Give my regards to Serge. <laughs> and tell him that we love him and remember him a lot. Of course. <laughs> Good morning, Masha. Go back to sleep. We won't go to kindergarten today, Grand Maisel. Oh no, poor Grandma. <laughs> go to sleep. <sighs> Hello. Hello. How was your business trip? Eh, nothing interesting. Same as usual. How's my mom? She's better. I saw her. She's sleeping now. Yesterday, we called an ambulance. The doctor measured her blood pressure, and everything was fine. They refused to take her to the hospital. Damn it. Maybe we should ask Fedorov. She will stay in his clinic, undergo some tests. Will she agree? Of course she will. I'll call him. Call him? Don't worry, Dr. Mission. Nothing to worry about. We'll think of something. We'll be waiting for you. Mom, get ready. We're going to Irina's clinic. Never. Your wife and Alexei Fedorov will put me in the grave. Come on, forget all these stories and get ready. I'm afraid of them. Mom, aren't you afraid of a heart attack? <laughs> Come on, don't cry, get ready. Very well then. Tell your dear wife to pack up my things then. Well, what happened here? I hope she didn't get ill after fighting with you. There was no yogurt and juice in the fridge. She became agitated and told me to get out of the house. She physically attacked me so brutally. That's not true. She's making it up. It's just blackmail. Pavel, I don't want to see her again. Mom, this is my wife. Oh. Mom! I'll prescribe the medicine now and call for a nurse. Mrs. Mission, everything is going to be okay. This is just my responsibility to treat the wife of the academic mission that I always treated with great love and respect. Although till the end of his days, he was my implacable scientific opponent. Don't worry. You see, Mom, there's nothing to worry about. Pavel, dear, you really need to think of something. I really don't want to see her ever again. I won't return. Mom, get better now. When you return, we'll gather all together and decide what we can do next. If you insist, we will leave. How can you say that, Pavel? Oh. Masha, Olga's been discharged from the hospital. We're going to help her, okay? Let's go. And now, here's your new entertainer. Okay, 
Everybody stay there and take a look at the best show in the whole world. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, careful. <laughs> Irina, I feel so good. Now I know that Fedorov wanted to cut out my foot, but you didn't let him. You put it together piece by piece, spent all nights with me. Now I really owe you. Ask me all you want. Oh, please Yay! stop it. Oh! The important thing was that you're okay. <laughs> Only I don't know how you're going to manage all this alone. But I'm not alone anymore. <laughs> I already arranged everything. I'll pay someone to live in with me. Who? Who? Faya, a mm. nurse from the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when I get better, everything is going to be okay. Anyway, okay? Mm -hmm. Daddy, did you bring me a gift? A gift? Sweetie, uh, he got you a doll, but he left her in his office. Yes. Let's go have some dinner. He'll bring it to you tomorrow. Just don't forget about it. I won't forget. Have a good night, Masha. I can't live like this anymore. I can't listen to all the grief from your mother. What is she scolding you for? I don't look after the house. I'm bad at bringing up our daughter that I don't take care of you and her. When I get home, all I do is clean up. I do the washing, I do the dishes. Look at my hands. Do these look like a surgeon's hands? You can operate on people with hands like this. Yes, Mom was wrong. But don't worry, she'll stay in the clinic, calm down, and then I'll talk to her. It's useless, Pavel. But why is that? You know, Mom is a sensible person. <laughs> Only she wants a daughter-in-law who's a housemaid, not a doctor. Oh, please, you're exaggerating. I have a passion and I love it. You love it more than us? I love you and Masha a lot. They are two different things. So what do you suggest? Let's rent an apartment away from your mom. Are you crazy? Do you know how much that would cost? We also need to find a maid for mom, you know? I can't do it anymore. Well, be patient. This is my mom. I can't do anything. You're right. A heart of stone. I'm so tired of you all. So tired of all your complaints. Tired both of you and mom. I was annoyed at you during the business trip. I didn't feel right, but I had to conduct an inspection by the way. S stop it with the, I'm a surgeon. I'm a deputy director for the department. Don't yell at me. I'm still your wife and the mother of your child. <sighs> Sometimes I really think that I shouldn't have married you. Thank you.
have a headache again? No, Masha, I don't. Then why do you look so sad? I don't get it. I'm not sad. I'm thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Mission. Come on in. You're looking good. Thank you. I already got a call from Polyansk. They said you did a great job. Very professional. Really amazing in all the way. Thank you, Mr. Ivanov. How's everything out there? Are there any problems? Ooh. They asked me to tell you that they still remember you, love you, and respect you. That's great. Really great. I wasn't wrong with you. Well, now let's do a report and wait for the order. The management is really happy for your work. So get ready for a promotion. Mm -hmm. So, patient Artusov. Will you take care of this patient, Irina? What's wrong with you? Are you unwell? I was making dinner and I cut my finger. The cut is really deep. I can't bend the finger. Please assign a different surgeon to patient. Dr. Mission, I didn't expect that from you. I've told you a thousand times that hands and brain are the main instruments of a surgeon. You've let us down, Dr. Mission. One surgeon less for at least a week. I'm so happy for you, Pavel, and you've done a great job. I'm sure you're going to finish with your PhD very soon. I really hope so, Mom. How are you doing? What did the doctor say? That I need to undergo a treatment. It will take 10 days. Excellent. Stay here. Get better. How are you going to live there alone, without me? Mom, I'm fine. I'm fine. And how is your... Irina? <sighs> we argued again, but mm -hmm. it'll be fine. How can you not worry about yourself, Pavel? Without me, she's going to drive you to the grave. Mom, stop it. You shouldn't get worried. Mm hmm Mrs. Mission, it's time for your IV. So I have to go. Give me a call if you need anything. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lie down. Olga, please take this. You've got some mail. What are these letters? Oh! Pavel! Hey, Olga, how are you? Hello, much better. As you can see, I'm so grateful to Irina. Yes, she's great. Are you going home? Yes, I'm writing a dissertation. Let me help you. Oh, that would be go. so cool. Thank you. Do you want some tea? <laughs> Why did you pick me up so early from school? Because all my patients got better. That cannot happen. It happens. Are you such a good doctor that all your patients are healthy? Yes, I'm a good doctor. Only you're right, Masha. I can't treat everybody. When will Dad come back? I don't know. He promised to bring me a doll. If he promised you, he'll do it. After that, I began to look really differently at people. I was almost brought back from the other world. So don't bother. I'll help you. I'll take care of your mother and help Irina around the house. So don't worry about that. I'll stay with Masha. No problem. I'm having a long holiday. Thank you so much, Olga. I didn't even understand how to solve the situation. You can see for yourself what's going on. Do you want me to help you with your dissertation? Mm, that'd be great. Very well. Agreed. So the girl ran to the blacksmith and said, Blacksmith, blacksmith, give me a good scythe. The owner will feed the cow. The cow will give milk. The owner will give me butter. Mom, where's my dad? Mm. He's probably late in the office. Tell me something. I won't have my doll? Mm. Great. Oh, here you go. Looks good. Look, thank you. Damn, my eyes are tired. Really? Maybe you want some more tea? Mm -hmm. 
Oh no, it's time for me to go. Uh, you know what? I'll come with you, or Arena will get angry. She hasn't even called. She doesn't care. Oh no. My phone is dead. Well, now I'm in trouble. Listen, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Come on, let's go. Where are you going? I'll cover for you. Come on. Wait! Not so fast, Pavel. Wait! Irina! Irina! Oh, Irina, please forgive. It's all my fault. Masha is sleeping. Why are you yelling? Oh, I'm very sorry. I was telling you that I invited Pavel for a cup of tea, but then I showed him my dissertation. So he started editing it. So he stayed up really late and lost track of time, you see? His phone is dead. Please, please forgive me. It was my uh, fault. Editing your dissertation? Okay, let's have some tea. Don't stand in the corridor. Irina, please forgive me. I'm such an idiot. Okay, I'm okay. sorry. Did you buy a doll for Masha? Damn it, I forgot. Buy it yourself. Pavel, to be honest, your child is waiting. Irina, I don't have time. Tomorrow I have to prepare the report from the business trip. By the way, I told Pavel already. I took some months off to do my dissertation and recover myself. I can help you around the house. Buy a doll for Masha. You see, Olga will help you. Pavel, be kind. Olga just went through surgery. You're making her work. No, no. I actually like it. You see, she likes it. If you refuse, I'll be offended. No, Olga, it's okay. Have a seat. Come on, just talk a little. I'll go to sleep. <sighs> I'm really tired. <sighs> Irina, sit down. Relax. Why, well, Soldi is in the hospital. <sighs> Hello! Oh, well, hello, good dear. Look, I made you some of your favorite <laughs> Aubergine roulettes, as I promised. Well, I really hope you like them. Here, put them right here. <laughs> You're the only one who cares for me. Pavel is busy all the time. His wife comes here, of course, but I can't stand looking at her. I have high blood pressure when she comes over. Why would you say that? Irina's a good person and an excellent doctor. Sonia, Sonia, my dear friend. We were going to marry you off. But then she died way before her time. I'm so sorry about that. To be honest, I've always dreamed about Pavel. I still love him. Excellent. Together, we can change the situation. How? He loves Irina. Not, that's not true. He used to be madly in love with her. But now it's very different. So don't be afraid. I will teach you everything you can do. <laughs> Come on in. Okay? Um... Uh, let me take off your coat. <laughs> what are you doing? It's uncomfortable. Have a seat. Do you know how much I love you? Huh? I almost got a heart attack. Let me go. <laughs> you have no idea how much I like you, baby. You're mine. <laughs> Irina, I, wait, I will, I'll explain everything now. Let's go. Let's go. Irina, on, let's wait, I'll explain everything. We were working uh, here. Uh, here, look, we were working on our... Dis That's right, you were working. You always work like this.
Hello. Can you stay with Masha? I'm going to work and I'll be back soon. Pebble is busy. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Of course, we'll stay here. Let's go, kitty, well done. Let's draw something. What do you want to draw? Say bye to mom. <laughs> what are we drawing today? Grandpa. Granddad? Okay, honey. Dr. Fedorov? Yes? Here's the letter. Irina, what happened? Why are you quitting? Please sign the letter. I can't stay for a second in this city. But please don't ask me anything. Irina. Dear Irina, calm down. You shouldn't make decisions so spontaneously. Please. Calm down, please. I'll sign your letter. Irina. I thought I'd find a replacement for myself. I hoped you would be at operation instead of me. Thank you, Doctor. For everything. You're welcome, Irina. You're welcome. There you go, sir. Thank you. Hello, can I have two tickets, please? I need business class. I'm by the window. I'm here with my child. All right. General's daughter. Что было у меня с тобой? Отболела, отлегло. Сердцу снова верится, что любовь ко мне вернется ранее весной. От шумел, от свело. В жизни все случается. Желтым листопадом кружат прожитые дни. Отболела, отлегло. Но зима кончается. И курлыча журавли. Part two. Our bus will be here. Good afternoon. Maybe you need a lift? Hi. Yes, please. Where are you going? To Central Street. Hmm. I was going that way. Get in. Thank you. We'll get her right now. That's great. Now we don't have to wait for the bus and get in. Oh, there's a new shop. How long since you last came? For two years. We're so lucky that we found help at the railway station. <laughs> Were you waiting for someone? No. I go to the train station every day to get the newspaper. They get on sale faster than in town. Thank you so much. How much do I owe you? It's nothing. It was a pleasure to help you. Thank you. Well, let's go see Grandma Tonya. 
Let's go, baby. Come on. Let me help you with this. Thank you. It has wheels. We can manage. Are you sure? Mom, yes. would you like me to help? All right. Goodbye. She's a great helper. Good day. <laughs> Irina! Hi! Hey. <laughs> so good that you came. Is this Masha? You're so tall now. Masha, please meet Veta. My sister. You got here at the perfect time. Grandma is making lunch right now. So hurry up. I'll, I'll see right you later. Back. off your coat. And who is this? Is this Masha? <laughs> You've grown up so much and as beautiful as a doll. Grandma, I'm not a doll. I'm a girl. <laughs> well, then if you say you're not a doll, you're not a doll. Take off your coats. Wash your hands and lunch is ready. Irina, what do you want to drink? I keep forgetting. Tea or coffee? I think I'll get some coffee. And I want tea. Masha, you will have milk. Sveta is going to bring us some fresh bread. I saw her outside. How is she? She's a good housekeeper. She takes care of the kids. Nikolai has a good daughter. She even calls me Mother Antonina. Hello? Yes, they're here. Irina and Masha. My gut tells me something has happened. She hasn't said anything. Mm-hmm. Hurry up, okay? But be careful, all right? I'll see you soon. Uh-huh. I'm back! Here you go, sweetie. Mother Antonina? Mmm. Mm. I'll have some hazels too. I haven't eaten yet. Please sit at the table. Don't eat mm. while standing up. Mm. I have no time. Hazels are birds. The thing is, my husband called the fried potatoes hazels. Crispy and tasty. Mmm. Mmm. Crispy and tasty. Irina, you haven't seen my kids yet. My two younger are at school now. The eldest is at the summer camp. Vlad's dad paid for this trip. Is Vlad still working as a bus driver? No, he's a long-haul trucker now. We see each other rarely. When he comes home, he just eats, sleeps, mm -hmm. creates another kid. I'm pregnant again. Your crazy is better. My husband says we should have a big family, so we're improving our demographics. <laughs> Aunt Sveta, can we go play with the toys? Of course, honey. Let's go. I'll show you their room. Well, go ahead, tell me. <sighs> tell you what? Why did you come? Everything is fine, Mom. I'm just tired. Masha didn't sleep well tonight, and I just need some rest. Can I sleep somewhere? Sure you can. You can go lie on my bed. Sorry. I was looking for my glasses. Where did I leave them? Hey, Mom. Hmm. Pavel cheated on me. I thought something like that had happened. I did everything for him. After work, I bought food and I picked up Masha. I was a housewife and a mom. I forgot the last time I had a day. What about your mother-in-law? Mom, I was afraid to tell you. I was embarrassed. 
She's hated me all these five years. What's done is done. It's for the better. Mom, you don't listen to me. My wife left me and took my daughter away. I'm still sane and I hear you. Now your wife left you. You're free. There was a problem. Now there's no problem. The main thing is, we don't need her to come back to us. She left me. Why are you panicking? I think we're really lucky. We'll just continue to live as we always have. I will take care of you. And in time, you will meet a woman who is finally worthy of you. Hold on, hold on. Who's taking care of Steve right now? My God, what are you talking about? Olga took him. <sighs> okay, it's time for me to leave this place. I'm feeling much, much better. My health is stronger. It's time to go home now. The main thing is for us to understand how we need to act in case she asks for a division of the property. I mean, of course I believe that... My mother-in-law would get used to me and stop nitpicking. She would see how much I... loved her son. Baffle at first loved and protected me. At least... during the first year. Then... he began to leave the house. He became like a stranger. Then this neighbor... Had this happened before? Was it the first time? <sighs> well, you should have forgiven him. No need to leave right away. Sveta, what are you talking about? Would you forgive your husband We're for that? We're not talking about me. I would have never let my blood become a long-haul trucker if I wasn't sure of him. You're not being helpful at all. Tell me why not, Mother Antonina. There's nothing to think about. For the sake of your own child, you should leave your pride aside. Stop with that, Stop Sveta. what? If she worked as hard as I did with all the kids with no help at all... I worked so hard all, that I would never wish it upon anyone here. Here's what I would say. Without love and respect, people shouldn't live together. Irina did the right thing then. Listen, Irina. If you get divorced, I will be there for you. We will help you gather all the necessary documents. There might be just one issue. The division of the property. But don't worry. We will figure it out together. I don't want any property. The apartment belongs to his mother. You have a daughter. Masha has the right to have a house. You have devoted ten years to him. Don't you have any Sveta, rights? Irina will make her own decisions. To the second avenue. Yes, get in. Can you please hurry up? I'm going to the kindergarten. Hmm, don't worry. We'll be there in five minutes. Don't you recognize me? Now I do. You like to read newspapers ahead of everyone. Exactly. Picking up your daughter? No, my nephews. Babysitters don't like it when parents are late. I just came back from vacation. I saw you and remembered your face, so I decided to give you a lift. So you recognized a person who you gave a lift to more than a month ago? Well, your face is not that easy to forget. So tell me, has your wife called you yet? No, I called her myself. I found her mother's phone number. And? She filed for divorce. My name is Alexei Gorin. I am Irina. Tell me, Rina, are you here for good or just to visit someone? She moved here from Moscow with Masha. I wonder what made a person from Moscow move here. I love to my hometown. Is that enough, Mr. Investigator? Irina, may I... May I ask you out for some coffee? I'm a little bit thirsty. One moment, Andrew. I'm sorry, I have to go. 
Have a good day. <coughs> My God, what happened? Chew your food. You're not in a rush, you know. Mom, stop it. I'm not a child anymore. Well, forgive me. I was worried about you. <sighs> what is this? Huh? A summons to the court here. About divorce. To court? Don't they do this at the registry office? Yes. No. I'm busy right now. I said no. I'll call you back later. Damn it. Bye. <sighs> Mom. I was talking to Irina's stepdad. He set some conditions. Well, I had to agree. So then, what kind of conditions did you agree to? That I refuse custody of my child. And in return, they will refuse any claims for property division. Oh, how noble of them. Just like the aristocracy. So fancy. Listen, you're making fun in vain. She has all the rights to ask for a part of the apartment and alimony in full quantity. I don't want to talk about it. That's enough. What are you so worried about? Are you seriously telling me you still love her? I'm not worried. Just let it go. I gotta go to work. I'm late. I'm sorry. Bye, Mom. Yes, Mrs. Mission? Hello, yes. Me? No, I'm not busy at all. Yes, yes, of course I can come by. In, in five minutes, yes. <sighs> Coffee, just as you like it. Sugar, cream, cinnamon. <laughs> Oh, thank you, my dear. My blood pressure is probably zero now. Thank you. Can you imagine? Pavel got a summons to court. To court? Yes, to court. Can you believe that? Oh, this terrible woman wants to take Pavel's only child. Therefore, the divorce case is now going to be heard in court. He suffers so much. You need to distract. Pavel from this awful nightmare. I understand what you're talking about. It's just... I'd be glad, but... But after Arena left, Pavel is... He's cold, he doesn't even look at me. What did you expect, hmm? He was a married man who had a nice affair. And now he is a potential husband. Do you really think that a man who has suffered and has gone through the terrible things that he has gone through now wants to add more problems to his life? I mean, think about it. If you were married, things would be different. But now... But... But what should I do? Tell me. You need to listen to me and do every single thing I tell you. Yes, come in. Hello, may I? Sure, take a seat. Thank you. I'm listening. I need a job. What's your profession? A surgeon of first category. Oh, can you tell me what brought you here? Mm -hmm. Well, family circumstances. Can you show me your certificate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dr. Irina Mission. Aren't you the daughter of Academic Mission? No, it's my husband, Mission. I am Kolchina. Irina Kolchina? This is me? Lucy? Roshi? <laughs> it's me! <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> we haven't Hi. seen each other for 15 years. 16. Exactly. God, we used to work as nurses. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So you say family circumstances broke up with your husband? I did. 
Is your husband the namesake of Mission or what? No, he's in fact the son of the academic mission. So I'm basically an ex general's daughter in law. Where were you working? In Fedorov's clinic. Ooh. Irina, so you left that clinic and your husband and decided to move here? Are you crazy? <laughs> yes, probably. Will you hire me? Irina, you see, this is a very small town. It only has two hospitals. And none of them have any open vacancies for surgeons. So do all hospitals have surgeons of the first category? Not all of them, but what do you want me to do? Downgrade them to nurses? On what basis? Lucy, are there any vacancies for doctors or other personnel? Everybody needs money. Surgeons work several jobs. After all, we're not in Moscow. So what should I do? Come on, Golchina, I need you to be patient. Actually, in one of our hospitals, we need a head nurse. Interested? I am. Excellent, then. Only don't tell anyone that you're a surgeon. There's a surgeon, Dr. Savyalov. He's been here for 40 years. He went to school with Fedorov. But he doesn't have a head nurse. He gets angry with all the young and unexperienced ones. They all quit their jobs. Thank you, Lucy. I have to go. Let's meet up sometime and catch up about the past. I'll call you. Hi there. Irina Kuchina. It's you again. Are you a serial killer? Are you following me or stalking me? Yes, I am. What, really? I was really following you, even stalking you in a way. I just want to get to know you. Now you probably want to give me a lift home. Yes, you got that right. Tell me, Alexei, was it Pavel who asked you to follow me? Pavel? And who's Pavel? By the way, I forgot to tell you. I finally got a divorce yesterday. So now, I'm a free man! <laughs> Stay overnight free, man. Yeah, no way. My mom is home alone. And you probably don't know, but my favorite place on earth is my own bed. It's the only place I sleep well. So, goodbye, kitty. Pavel, I'm pregnant. <laughs> pregnant? That's impossible. I'll tell you something. This could be possible. <laughs> I've been to a family planning clinic and my friend works there. It was all confirmed. It's been two months already. <laughs> then we'll have to solve this problem. What's the problem? Pavel, this is a child. Our child. Listen, I'm not Arena. I have my own apartment, my own work. I'm an independent person, so the question with the child is up to me to decide. But you don't have much time to think about it. Because you know what can happen? A person is going to live in the same house as you, but you will just be a neighbor, Pavel. And that's disgusting. Tell me what you want. What do I want? I want to be a daughter-in-law to the general. Pavel, what do I want? I want everything to get married. Uh, I want a family. Oh, God, dear, I just got a divorce. God damn it. Pavel, I didn't say we should file for marriage right tomorrow at the registry office. Mm -hmm. Have some fun. How much time do you need? A day? A week? Uh, two? Three. <laughs> Fine. Mm. Deal, but if mother allows. <laughs> Masha, hold on. Ready? Jump. Hold on. Push. Feet off the ground. Hello, young ladies. How are you doing? Hello. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Masha, go play with the other girls in the sandbox. I need to talk to this man. Alexei, I asked you yesterday to stop following me. I just moved into this town and found a job. 
A few more meetings like that, and there will be rumors everywhere. I'm going to work tomorrow. I Irina, don't really want this to... You can do whatever you like, but you won't get rid of me. We'll see. There's nothing to see. I was told that you were hired in the regional hospital. Is that so? Yeah, you have excellent sources. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am an anesthesiologist of the regional hospital, Alexei. Nice to meet you. Ah, so you're Irina. Mission. Ah, sea work for Fedorov. I know him. We studied together in medical school. He has two years younger than me. He's a talented guy. You said he's a professor. Good for him. As for me, I'm just a deputy director of the department. I've been cutting for 40 years. I'll introduce you to the other staff members. Come with me. And then she comes like nothing happened and... Hello. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. Well, here's your new... boss. Senior operational nurse. Please welcome her. I am Marina Kolchina. Nice to meet you. Shana. Luba. Shura. Well, that's excellent. Your keys? Mm. Get used to the new workplace. Thank you. Girls, get dressed. Tell me, what is the halting period of operational clothing and instruments? Three days. I see. From now on, the operational clothing sets will be changed daily. No, but wait. It's not a question. Get to the hospital an hour earlier. We will study together every operational instrument. Mrs. Colchina, please tell us, is Antonina Colchina related to you? She's my mother. Oh, she was my teacher. Uh, although she said that you work as a surgeon in Moscow. No, it was a mistake. Oh. I'll see you tomorrow at 7 sharp. I will evaluate how you observe the sanitary rules during surgery. I want to know how you handle the balls and how you remove the caps. Goodbye. Bye. 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 I'm totally quitting, girls. Don't be a fool. Girls, you need to understand how lucky we are. If Colchina teaches us, we'll be the best nurses in the country. She's famous, but what about us? In the limbo. What are you talking about? Okay, I stay here. Shura, don't be ridiculous. I'll meet you at the station at 6. Good morning, Pavel! <sighs> Hi, Mom. What's bothering you so much? <sighs> I'm just choosing a tie. Son, stop it. I didn't ask you about the tie. Mom, you see? Here's the thing. I think I'll have to marry Olga. Have to? How come? That's the issue. She's pregnant and doesn't want to have an abortion. <laughs> no one can force you to do anything you don't want to do. Mom, I don't get why you're saying that. You know I'm not a jerk. Don't you like her at all? Somehow, I like her. She's nice. But honestly, I enjoy being single too much. Oh, Mrs. Colchina, are you living? We will stay a little longer. Hello, Dr. Colchina. Uh, hello. Glad to see you. Hello. Alexei, what's Did your you last name? Yes, Gorin, but you can just call me Alexei. So, Mr. Gorin, tomorrow I have surgery. See you in the operating room. Wait, why tomorrow if we can meet today? There's a coffee shop around here. Maybe we should go. Mr. Goring, after work I hurry home. Tomorrow I have the first operating day. I want to be ready for it. Tell me, what is your name? Come on, hmm? tell her. All right, my name's Masha Mission. Exactly. And how old are you? Five and a half. 
<laughs> that's right. Um, and tell me, how old are you going to be in six months? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> the door. Mom's back. Yeah. It's time for dinner. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's see what we can show your mom. What have we written today? <laughs> Let's Good yeah. evening. Your go mom's say hi. Back. Mommy, mommy. Good evening. We're just about to go have <laughs> dinner. Masha. What are we having for dinner? Mm. Well, you and Masha mm. will have rice soup and roast beef. Uh, roast beef? I'm so sick of it. Nikolai, you shouldn't have anything else with your ulcer. You need to see a gastroenterologist. We've been to that doctor, and he says he needs surgery. But Nikolai doesn't want it. He's scared. I'm too old to have surgeries. I'll just live the rest of my days like this. Nikolai, why are you saying that? You're two years younger than me. You have years ahead of you. Antonia, huh? just bring me some tea, please. Uh-huh. With herbs? Yes, with herbs. Mm-hmm. Irina, Masha, let's would you please go, go and talk hands. some sense into him? I'll do it. Once I get a job in the hospital, I will talk to him. Mm. Tomorrow I have my first surgery. A difficult patient? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You're a surgeon. <sighs> Mom, Savia Love is a surgeon. I am a senior operating nurse. Where's my tea? In a minute. I love you. Pavel? Mission. Did you sleep well? Uh, uh. You sleep too much. It's already noon. <laughs> I have nowhere to hurry. To the supermarket. This is the list of what you need to get. Really? Fizzy water? <gasps> Why don't we ask the housemaid to go when she returns? From today on, Dasha doesn't work here anymore. I fired her. We need to save money. We can't afford to keep a housemaid. When only Pavel is the one who has a job in this house. But you have a big pension, don't you? Since when did you start counting my money? Get dressed and go to the market. And put my milk back in the fridge. Do you hear me? <sighs> Enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> Thank you. Pavel, your mother told me to go to the shop. What should I do? She wrote down a huge list. I can't carry weight. What do you mean, why? Because it's heavy. Gordon, what's with the patient? His breathing is normal. Pulse is fine. Blood pressure is low. Excellent. Stitch up. My God, what took you so long? <sighs> One second. <sighs> Where are you going? I'll do it myself. All right, bye-bye.
Dr. Fedorov did a great job teaching you. You're smart. Shame that you're old already. You could go to medical school to become a great surgeon. I'm sure of it. How old are you? Almost 40. Well, I told you, too old. But you look quite good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You were right there on time. Do you want alcohol? No. Okay. residency there. Have you heard of it? Yes, that university prepares the best anesthesiologists. Yeah. But how did you end up here? I served for two years in the army. Then there was an accident and I was discharged. By that time I was already married. Her name was Lucy. She is from this town, so we moved here. We bought an apartment, but two years ago we broke up. Why was that? She says she married a military officer, not an ordinary doctor with a tiny salary. Then she left somewhere. I don't know. I'm not sad, you know. I have an interest in you. I met you. Well, Alexei, bye. Have a good day. Goodbye, baby. your hands and let's have dinner. I don't want to. I want to play. She wants to see Sveta. All right, you can go. Okay, go ahead, baby. Just be careful. You really don't need to feel sorry for your sister. They're going to create so much mess in Sveta's room right now. It's going to be amazing. Mom, I'm so glad they became friends. Masha has always been alone. So then, why didn't you make an effort? Well, what could I do? And who did you come here with? Uh, with an anesthesiologist. Mm. We just talked. So he walked me home. Good evening, Nikolai. Good evening. Would you like some dinner? I'm not hungry. I just want to get some rest. Keep an eye on the soup. <sighs> Listen. Uh, tomorrow we're going to the hospital for a checkup. Don't even protest. I can't do this anymore. I'm sick of that old curl. I'm tired. Let's do this. Just give me something that says I had a miscarriage or something. I cannot pretend anymore. Aren't you afraid he's gonna leave you? He's a handsome man, with a good job and clearly loaded. I'm not afraid. I'm his lawful wife. Besides, he's not used to thinking with his brain. He couldn't even choose a tie by himself. He's like a baby or something. <laughs> I'm just thinking I could send you to the ICU. Where? We'll blame it on depression, and you shouldn't see anyone. Uh huh? Is there Wi-Fi? <laughs> sure there is. <laughs> Let's do it.
What is it? Dad felt really unwell. Irina called an ambulance and they took him to the hospital. Vlad, please, let's follow let's them. Let's follow them. Sveta, you stay at home with the kids. You have nothing to do in the hospital. Let's go, let's go. Everything's gonna be fine. Dr. Savialov, this is urgent. The doctors on duty can't operate an appendicitis. Listen, I'll get the room ready. Dr. Savilov, I'm sorry, this is urgent. Here's the thing. A patient arrived, he had appendicitis, and that new nurse, she didn't let the doctor on call to operate on him. So she's doing the procedure. And Jenna is assisting her, just saying. Where have they gone? They're in surgery. Who's operating who? My daughter from another husband. What daughter? What husband? What's going on? Dr. Savyalov, can you imagine this nurse called China said that I'm not good enough to operate? She locked herself in the operating room. She won't open it. I've already called everyone from the whole department. They will be here in a moment. Open up now. Doctor, you can't come in. The surgery has started. Gorchina, open up Don't immediately. Don't yell at me. I'll finish in a minute and explain everything. Doctor, I think we should call the police. We could ask for a special unit to break the door. What if something happens? The health department will come after us. Crap. I also have to deal with the health office. Listen, I think she should go somewhere else. Where? Don't care. To another hospital. No. Yeah, I don't but care. Dr. Savialov! Dr. Savialov! Wait! Hi. I'd like to talk to Lucy. She left? Where? To hospital number two? Impossible. What happened there? No way. An emergency situation in that hospital. Tell me what happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you're a gossip. Anyway, yeah. Damn it, this is gonna get out of control. Everything is fine. We did it. He will sleep until the morning, so go oh, home. Thank you. Don't oh, worry, he'll call be China right. to Savialov's office. Thank you. Vlad. Vlad, I'll stay. Why? But No, Irina said he'll sleep till the morning. What would you do here? Let's go. We didn't have time. We couldn't postpone the operation. Her performance was perfect. Who is she to stand at the table? And operate. I am a surgeon of the first category. I performed five similar operations in Fedorov's clinic. Yeah, yeah, she has a surgeon certificate. So then, we got this bastard that cuts people, and we got a good surgeon who works as a nurse. I don't believe this shit. She's the head nurse! Fire this asshole and hire a doctor. But he has children, Dr. Savialov. How can I fire him? How? Transfer him to another hospital as a cleaner. There! Really? And where do I find an experienced nurse? Anywhere you want! Become one yourself! Say I wanted to thank you for taking part in the operation. Were you going to operate on the patient without anesthesia? <laughs> you could have been fired. Why did you do it? Because I want to work with the surgeon Colchina. Because I'm in love. Alexei, now it's not the time to confess love. But still, thank you for everything.
Why did they fire you? You saved father. The head doctor wanted to hire you as a surgeon. Formally speaking, they are actually right. I shouldn't have operated because of medical ethics. Ethics? What are you talking about? If it happened on the street? If a man was dying, what then? A doctor can't do anything until an ambulance arrives? That's not ethical. It's a different case. How is it different? What is the difference? A doctor's job is to save but people. Honey, oh, calm whatever. Down. We need to file complaints to prove whatever we need to prove. Mom, are you being serious? Well, I remember the Communist Party's offices used to be here. Mother Antonina, that was in the past. Now there's no Communist Party. We need to sue them. Yes, the court will be on my side. But the hospital will reply that they already have a senior operational nurse. Shh, Give me more bread. Here. Nonsense. How long will Nikolai stay in the hospital? Well, about two weeks. Two months at home, then. Oh. How are we going to live? Four hungry mouths in one room. There are four of us, plus Nikolai. He will need special food. And who knows for how long? I'm going on a long trip. So minus one person, well... My salary plus your pension. And I will get a few more orders. Irina will help me. We will manage somehow. <gasps> Irina, who's taking care of Nikolai there? I'll ask Alexei to do it. He seems to be a good person. Uh, so, we need to prepare roast tea for Dad, Mom. Let's go. Subordination. I hate those sons of... Yeah, calm down. I'm all right. Oh, my love. Just go get me some tea. Cochina, what are you standing here for? Right now, you should be in the staff room. Uh, she's here to check on the patient that had appendicitis. It's her stepdad. I see. But when are you going to get back to work? Doctor, please listen to me. The order is not signed yet. And she doesn't work here anymore. Uh, she's no longer senior nurse, so there shouldn't be a problem for the hospital. I see. <sighs> so, you know, Nikolai is all right. You can visit him if you want to. I gotta go now. Thank it's you. okay. Bye. Let's go. Oh, Hurry up. Let's okay. go. Okay. Let's go. Mom, that's enough. Don't give him any more food. Wait 15 more minutes. Uh, hello? Excuse me. Hello, Alexei. Let me introduce you to Dr. Alexei Goring, the anesthesiologist. Nice to meet you. I wonder if I may have a word. I'll be back in a minute. Who is that? This is Alexei. He helped Irina carry out your operation. Did Irina do the surgery on me? Yes. Irina. Some more? Yes, thank you. You lived so fast yesterday. We didn't have time to talk. I think you told me everything yesterday. Irina, I want you to always be with me. Alexei, please stop it. I am almost 40. I have a daughter. There are so many beautiful young girls around. I love you. And you happen to be love at first sight. When I saw you at the bus station, I didn't know where you came from, but I knew that I loved you. That's it. This is madness. No. It's not madness, it's love at first sight. It happens. Yes, it does happen. It happened to me. But I could burn for the rest of my life. Well, you don't have to worry. I know many ways to treat burns. My burns haven't healed yet, and I want to forget this conversation. It's a little complicated.
Don't turn it off. Turn the music on again. Turn it on again, I said. <sighs> you don't command around here. Command your son if you want. I'm not the right fit for you. Look, you see lipstick? <laughs> you see? <laughs> it's all over his underwear. Yeah. <laughs> your son has lost all shame sleeping with all kinds of horrors. <laughs> Get out of my house! Get out now! Uh, how scary! <laughs> how scary! <laughs> my mother was afraid of you all of her life, but I am not, you see? <laughs> I'm not Arena. Just try to threaten me, you and your son. Do you know what I will do? Your house! Soon it will be mine! Get out! I said get out of here! Out! Out! Out, you old crow! Out! I hate you! Son, please, she's drunk. She attacked me. Please, son, I beg you, please come. Hurry up, I beg you. Hurry. I put Masha to bed. She's been active, barely fell asleep. Let's have some tea. <laughs> I don't like how you're looking. I don't like how I look myself. I live in your house. I don't work. I don't have a home, no husband, with a child. Well, I will help you and the child. As for Alexei... What? Well, he was looking at you in such a way I saw it. In what way? With such loving eyes. And he was saying something very serious. <laughs> Mom. He confessed his love to me. <laughs> Lucy, darling, you can't do that. Why did you just fire a person for no reason without telling us? You didn't even talk to the head physician. Do you have any idea how other doctors will look at me like I'm a fucking joke? Well, you understand what I look like in the eyes of my colleagues. You understand that? I understand, Dr. Savilov. But we still have a code of ethics, and formally, I have no reason to fire Dr. Kopstev. And regarding Colchina, you said it yourself, that a first category surgeon shouldn't work as a nurse. I did everything you wanted. Lucy, are you kidding me? Please, I beg you. Before we decide what to do with Kopstev, leave Kochina in his position. What do you think about that? That is impossible. Why? Because in order to restore her position, it's mandatory that we look into the complaint. I don't understand. What complaint? Here you go. Read all of it. Let me bring it to your attention. That, that, uh, that senior operational nurse. It's a complaint for a disciplinary investigation. Ah, this bastard. Ah, <sighs> uh, Dr. Goring. Dr. Goring, I was looking for you. So tell me, were you the doctor in charge of the anesthesia on the patient who was operated on by the new head nurse, Kurchina? It was me. Excellent. You know, with this space in our hospital, I think soon the cleaning ladies will begin to operate. Therefore, I think... It is my duty to inform the regional health office about what happened, since someone could make this situation public. And I don't think we should allow this case to be noticed, because, you know, I think it's going to I understand. Be... Uh, wait a minute, Dr. Gorin. You see, um, our hospital has some problems <coughs> with social responsibility. Of course I understand that. Dr. Savilov is our head physician, but he's a tyrant. Um, he worships Colchina, and that's why obviously no one wants to mess with him. I just recently asked one of our nurses to speak out at the commission meeting, but she totally refused. Just like that. So I thought of you. 
since you were involved in the... Listen to me. If you approach me again, I will end you, got it? You hear me? <sighs> Security. He wants to kill me! Security! Hold him! Hold him! Stay there! Stay Calm there! Calm down. You bastard. Call the police! Security! Calm down. Please be civilized. What's going on? Hello? Police? Come here. Come here now. To the regional hospital now. Awesome. You see? This old crow called him and he rushed to attack me and then all... Did you file a report? Do you think I'm stupid? Of course I didn't. I went to the trauma department right away. Please, Zina, I really need your help. Do you know a good lawyer? Young, experienced, and affordable. There are no lawyers like that. Ina. But I found one. <laughs> He's young, experienced, but not affordable at all. His name is Kirill Slotnikov. Call him. Slotnikov? <laughs> Sounds promising. <laughs> mm. Conspiracy. Mm. Stop. Come on, get in. You bastard! You'll regret this. Damn doctors. You'll never get out. You should have received a call from the mayor's office regarding Dr. Gorin. Anton Savialov, he's the head physician of the regional hospital. I'm Lucy Rushina, head of the health office. How? Rushina? <laughs> That's my last name. Got a problem with that? Yes, we did get the call. Be glad we didn't start a criminal investigation on him. He broke the prison's officer's nose. Only one person inside. Yes, hello? Yes, Shana. Who? How? What police station? I got it, I'm on my way. Forgive me, Dr. Savilov. Oh, come on. Get dressed. Go ahead. If it was my will, I would show you. Well, Dr. Gorin, you've caused lots of trouble. Now, Dr. Savilov had to bail you out. You don't have to bail me out. If you want, I can quit, oh. or you can fire me. Sure. Why don't you like Dr. Korchina? What? Uh, why would you think that? I can see you don't like her. You know what, Dr. Garan? I am just jealous. We've been friends since school. And now I work with all that paperwork, but she is a first category surgeon. She worked with Fedorov himself, Dr. Savialov is fond of her, and he never treats me like that. You see, I don't get it. She has everything. Let's go. Again. You're welcome. Hey, Irina. I wanted to talk to you. Can you wait a minute? Of course. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Careful. I'll put it away. Go lay down. I'm going to the shop. Okay, take some money. It's okay, in the thanks. purse on the fridge. Maybe I should go. No, stay with Masha. I won't be long. What are you doing? What did you want to talk to me about? 
I quit. Mm. So you quit after all. And now, what are you planning to do next? I am planning to go to Moscow. If I don't find a job there, I'll go to Europe. You know what they say. A good anesthesiologist can work in any place. It's not that easy, Alexei. Because you'll need to validate your degree in Europe. So you can get a work permit. Irina, I... I want it. To ask you something. Yes, of course. Could you go at least once a week to water my plants? Mm, of course. Thank you. I'd like to take you with me. Obviously, when I'm settled down. Alexei, I can't go anywhere with you. I have my mom here. My dad is still weak. Masha will go to school. Irina, you know this town is too small for you. But all my family lives here. You should go settle down. We'll keep in touch and we'll see what comes next. Thank you for everything. Mr. Slotkinov, I'm so thankful to you. I don't know how you managed to divorce me in, like, no time. Well, don't thank me. It's my job. You're truly a professional. Listen, I think we should celebrate this victory. Uh, yes, really? I would like to invite you home if you'd like. Oh. Let's spend some time together. What's your favorite drink? Well, you know, I prefer a good cognac. Masha, dear, want to play a game? It's called Relating Words. Grandpa's going to help us, okay? For example, if I say the word, um, cucumber, then you will say, vegetable. Okay, let's see how good you are. Needle? That's right, that's right. Uh, mittens? Mittens? Mittens. Fingers. Hands would be better. What about Wellingtons? I don't know. Wellingtons are type of shoe. Oh. Warm and soft. <laughs> she doesn't know about this. Damn it. Sveta, don't worry. How can you say that? This is our last order, and after this, there's no more work. Hold on. Um, didn't a friend of yours want to order a knitted dress? She did. <laughs> but then she bought a dress somewhere else. So she cancelled. Yeah. I need to find a job, any job. I have no money to pay for Masha's school. To our successful acquaintance. <laughs> Please, have one. What do you think about this apartment? <laughs> mm. Mm, this is a nice apartment. But... Unfortunately, your place is a lot smaller than this. So much smaller. I'd very much like a bigger share. Mm. I would even say the whole of it. <laughs> it would seem to me that you could help me. Well... I would really appreciate it. And I know how to be thankful. Really? Very well. <laughs> we'll see. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that you hate your family so much that you want them uh, to become homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I got sick of them. <laughs> really? <laughs> My ex bought this place. He turned it into this bloody house because his mother, mm -hmm. she thinks she's a baroness. Ah. She just wants to be worshipped. Mrs. Mission! She should be at the asylum. <laughs> <laughs> Pavel, get home immediately. Ah, you're already in the yard. Get up here quickly. Yes. Mr. Slotnikov, why don't we make a toast? <laughs> you know, with pleasure. But please, let's not be so formal about it, all right? 
I had time for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we should. Let's talk later. <laughs> Are you celebrating victory? Get out of here right now. Did you forget? Half of the apartment is mine. <gasps> help! Help! He's hitting me! He's hitting Stop, me! Put please. him in calm jail! Down. Calm Put down. him in jail! Come Arrest on. him! Be help. quiet. Uh, uh, everyone, calm down, please! I am a representative of legal authorities. I promise I will send your son to prison. Oh my god. Oh my Mom, god. call an ambulance. Call the police! Call the police! Oh, wait, you got lipstick here. Hold on, please. Uh, uh, hello. Hello. I'd like to report an attack. Yes. What else do you want from me? I did everything I could, but you had to show your ego. Lucy, I don't have any money. That's your problem. You should have kept quiet. You could be working, but Dr. Kopstev is a very proud man. I really don't know what to do. Would you be interested in a cleaning job? There's nothing else I can offer. Do you agree to take it? I agree. Irina, how could you accept that job? You are a surgeon, not a maid, for God's sakes. It's humiliating. I read surgeons should take good care of their hands. Irina, listen. In that job, you will have to work with detergent and toxic waste. But what can she do? Maybe as a cashier in a shop, or a secretary. I know a lady that's on maternity leave. Don't worry about me. I'm a doctor after all. And even with a mop, I'll be able to help all my patients. Would you like some tea? Yes. I'll help you. No, Dr. Kolchina, why do you take this job? When Dr. Savilov hears about this, he will definitely start yelling at us all day. How are you? I'm all right. Thanks to you, that taught me so well. Um, now I'm head nurse of the hospital. <laughs> and uh, here we are, saving people. Yeah, I have, I have to go. Okay. Nonsense, a surgeon shouldn't clean up after sick patients. Tell me, why do you keep tormenting yourself because of me? Lucy from the health office is tired too. There's a complaint against us after all. That's the point. She hasn't started the investigation. I told this bastard cops have anyway. He said he's ready to withdraw his complaint if you apologize to him. What for? Well, for not letting him perform this surgery for publicly saying that he's a good surgeon just on mice? He wants a public apology for damaging his reputation. He has no reputation and never had one. He doesn't care about the clinic. I will work here, but I won't ask for forgiveness. Why are you so proud? Just do it. You won't lose anything. Yes, I will lose. That's the point. I have to go back to work. <sighs> it's your call. <sighs> <laughs> Pavel, where have you been for so long? Why didn't you come sooner? I needed you here with me. 
Listen, Mom. I was on a business trip. After that, I immediately came here. And I couldn't be happier to see you. I'll buy some vitamins for you, fruits, and I'll visit you again. You're a strong woman. Ma'am, get me through to Regina. Yeah, yeah, Lucy Regina. Dr. Xavier Love from Regional Hospital. Yes, yes, she knows. Hello, Lucy, guess what? I talked to her and she doesn't want to. Can you believe it? I called Fedorov and he got so mad. He said she's a gifted surgeon and that he's going to do something about it. He won't stop till justice is done. He threatened us to the hospital, so you'll have to think what's the right thing to do. Gotta go, all right? Talk to you later. Bye. <sighs> Crap. jail for 15 days, but he got out in a week. <laughs> the court let him go because his mother is really ill. <laughs> Have you seen the suitcase in the corridor? I've packed all your shit. Take it and get out of here right now. <sighs> you fucking slut! Come down, Stop please! It! Stop it! <sighs> Stop! Help! I'm gonna help! kill you! Help! 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 I'm coming! Help! I'm, on, I'm filming! Up! Leave me alone, asshole! Now, mission, you will get a full sentence. I promise you, you that. I swear you are going to jail. You go back to jail. I'll send you there without hesitating. Film everything. I'm filming him. For God's sake. Here it is. Come on, take it. This is your money for the half of the apartment. Take it now, or you won't get a penny later. With this, you can send your mother to a nice place. Decided to send her to the grave? Come on! Sign it! Sign that you've got the money! Sign it! Sign it now, you asshole! I'm filming Film it. it! Are you filming it? Come on! You are fast to set this up, bastards. <sighs> Irina, you should apologize. It won't hurt you. But I respect Irina's decision. So what now? A proud, cleaning lady with a minimum wage? Anyway, we need to go. It's bedtime for yes. the kids. Bye. Bye. Good Have night. some rest. Irina, I think maybe you should apologize to him. No one will judge you. Everyone loves you. All of our neighbors say that you're very caregiving, loving, kind, and look after everyone. Irina, when can I get back to work? Just one more month. When I get back, we will sue the health office. I'll gather information so we can present the lawsuit. We don't need any lawsuits. <phone rings> yes? Hello, Alexei. Yes. I watered your plants. Where have you disappeared to? Oh, I see. Of course. Sure, call me. Have a good day. Irina, a woman named Galina called you. Galina? Mm-hmm. Oh, Galina. Yes, she said that tomorrow, 
she will be passing through here and asked me to tell you to go to the train station. Mm -hmm. Here, I wrote down for you the time and train number. Mm -hmm. Who is Galena? Galena and I were both classmates. We lived in the same room on campus. Galena! Hi. 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 I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> Me too. How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> How come I just came here? to see you. How have you been? I'm okay. I'm in the local hospital here. I also work at a hospital in my hometown. Well done. How is Clava? I haven't heard from her in ages. Clava's back in her hometown too. She's all right. Can you imagine? And her father, he became the mayor. And Clava is now the head of the health office. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> and now she calls herself a minister of health. Girls, we're departing. Yeah, just a sec. So listen, did you hear that Olga and Pavel got divorced? She got his apartment, and he got fired. How is his mother? She's in the hospital. She had a stroke. Couldn't handle the stress. Please get on the train. All right, honey. I have to go. All right. Bye. Thank you. And call me if you yes. need anything. Goodbye. Thank you. Look, I need to show you something here. Okay? Excuse me. Can you help me find Irina Kolchina? You should look in the staff room. She must be right there. That way. Hmm. Thank you. Hello? Can I talk to Irina Kolchina? Pavel? Irina. <laughs> How are you? So I found where you were. I'm sorry for coming here without warning. I didn't know what to say. Well, come on in since you're here. Have a seat. Why did you come? For you. Irina, I want you back. No, Pavel, it won't work out. How's your mother? My mom had a stroke. She's in the hospital. She wants to tell me something, but she can only mumble. I can't figure it out. I'm scared to look at her. You're a doctor. I'm not a doctor when it comes to my mom. Irina, what do you think about this? I think I should send her somewhere. I totally agree with you. Let's think of a nice place. Thank you, Irina. Forgive me. Masha never even got her doll from you. And I your love. I'm sorry.
Keep behaving, I will get some ice cream. Yikes. He left his mother alone? You did the right thing kicking him out. If Vlad was here, he would smash his face. She's all alone in the hospital. No one visits her. After all, she didn't deserve this. <sighs> You're not mother, Theresa. Did you forget how she used to treat you? She still didn't deserve this. <sighs> anyway, Alexei called me from Moscow. He was offered a job in a big hospital, and they also need a surgeon there. He wants me to come with him. You should definitely go, no doubt. Don't even think about it. Who will take care of you here? We aren't alone here. We are all together in this. Come on, <laughs> don't worry about us. Masha can stay and live with us just until you get settled. And then you take her with you. Thank you, but I still have to think about it. And tell me, when is he leaving Moscow? The day after tomorrow. Call him. And tomorrow you take the first train to Moscow. You go visit your ex-mother-in-law. Maybe she needs something and you could help her. You never know. Hey, I got some money. It will be enough for you to buy the ticket. And for the first time in your life, don't think about it and just go. Thank you, Nikolai. Oh. Yeah, Colchina! I came to invite you to tea. I finally persuaded Lucy to write a letter of response to the complaint from that bastard. Concluding that you're a surgeon, got the certificate, so... You had the right to operate. Thank you. Thank you huh. for everything. I wanted to tell you that I decided to retire. Now I'll be a private practitioner. Oh, and I'll give you my place. I'll work until the end of the month. And then I'll retire. <sighs> Dr. Savialov. Alexei Gorin called me. He was offered a job in a big hospital. There's a job for a surgeon, so I'm leaving. You're a good woman, Kojina. It's a shame you're leaving. But in case you decide to come back to the hospital, I'll be so glad. Thank you for everything. Really. Ah. What happened? Why aren't you at the train station? Mom, Dr. Savialov just offered me his place here. Maybe I should stay? You should go. Alexei is waiting for you. Don't you miss being happy? I don't know. I'm afraid to make a mistake. He's younger than me. Being younger is not a problem. Did you know that your father was so much younger than me? Nikolai is too. Go! I'll get that. Hello. Hey. Thanks. So... Thank you for coming. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I'm not. Really, thank you. <laughs> it's so good a train arrived on time because I have some things to do. I also have to go somewhere. Why don't we leave your bags in the luggage room? And we meet at 5 p.m. at the entrance. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. May I? Thank you. My pleasure. Hello. It's me, Irina. I brought you everything you like. Yogurt, and your favorite cheese. All your snacks. Don't you worry. I'll get everything done to take you out of here. You just have to get better, all right? 
Irina. Thank you. Mission, can you hear me? Mrs. Mission! Where are you going? Nina, hello. Hi, Irina. Is Pavel here? It's just that so much has happened here. Pavel, your ex-husband, killed Olga barehanded. What? He killed her. He just appeared out of nowhere. He opened the apartment's door, and as soon as he entered, he saw Olga with her lover. Well, her lawyer, the investigator who questioned me, said that he pushed Olga. So she fell down and smashed her head, and she just... She just died. I actually wanted to see him. His mother is dead. I'm sorry, I have to go. Finally, give me your passport. I'll buy the tickets. I won't be coming with you. I need to stay in Moscow for now. What's going on? My ex-mother-in-law has to be buried. Doesn't she have relatives? She does. A son, but he's been arrested for murder. All right, stay. When will you get back? Alex, I am not coming with you. I'll go back to my hometown. But what's waiting for you there? Savielov is going to retire. I'm getting his position. Did you come here just to tell me that? Is that the reason you're in front of me? I came here to see you too. Figure out whether I love you or not. So do you? surgery. Congratulations. Thank you, Serge. You like to take risk, Dr. Colchina. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. How about we go to drink to celebrate? <laughs> Dr. Colchina, are we preparing Sorokin for tomorrow? His results just came back and they look totally normal. Let's prepare him for it. Help uh, me with that. Wait a second. Don't forget that Anton wanted to assist you on the surgery. Shana, you never listen. I was just saying that Anton will assist the operation. Sorry.
You need me on your team? <laughs> Alexei. But what about your big job? I don't need any of that. I need you. You know I can't live without you. And if you don't say yes, I will lie on that carpet and never let you out. Is that clear?